and today we will be doing some gardening again because it's the spring again. So anyway, last year we started up the squash trade and it didn't get far, but we were able to sell some squashes in uh, Jackson Heights and places like that. So, and one of our squashes got so big that it even grew over the neighbor's fence and we had to get permission from them to retrieve it. So this year, we're also going to be doing some more squash growing, as I have announced uh, earlier. However, we are also going to start furnishing our house and planting some blossom trees. They might take a while to grow, but uh, I'm sure it'll look great. So anyway, let's start digging. So first of all, this big patch in the soil is because we accidentally left some of these bricks lying around here. So uh, it turned out the, that those gra that grass over there wasn't getting enough sun. So it became dead and we had to mow over it. And now we have this big dirt hole. So that's where we're going to start digging from. So here we have a dead weed from a little bit of the stuff I've already picked up. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty beautiful, but that's misleading because it's a weed. Or you might say, it's misweeding. So anyway, there's our dead weed. I'm going to have to take out this flower. And the flower part we have over here looks pretty beautiful. And there's even a card. Uh, that says it bloomed from the early spring into the summer. So I'll read that card later. But for now, here's our flower uh, that we will soon plant into the soil. Looks like those flies want to get buried under this dirt. I could happily do that job for them. So anyway, here and now I have this dead root that's going to extract. Now, finally, let's go to dig out this little line that we've got over here. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and take out this flower so the entire pot has come out with it. And I'm going to try and plant it here. So this is going to have to be a really difficult endeavor. And this is going to need a lot more attention than say any individual plant. And we'll probably want to make a lot more blossom trees. But first, we're just going to do a test run with this flower. If it's a success, well, it's a success, so that's good. And if it's a failure, we'll try again. We'll change something and then I mean, that's it. So uh, hopefully all of these decomposed parts of the soil can give enough nutrients or minerals for our little guy over here to grow. I don't to name him Blossom or her, whatever. Uh, they don't really have genders because they can self-pollinate. Noink. So, this is what I'm going to leave it at for now. Hopefully this is enough soil to completely surround and secure the roots, which are vital for this little guy. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to water him. The uh, only uh, like wa a real watering bucket we have is a bit dirty. 